Hey y'all, what's up? My name is Sonali. Welcome to a new vlog. I thought I would vlog this weekend because today I'm going to Worst Fest and I've never been to it, but apparently it's kind of like a October Fest kind of... Wait, is that what it's called? October Fest? Um, I feel like it's kind of like that vibe just like a festival I think. I'm not really sure but I'm going to take you guys along and we're going to figure it out. Um, it's actually a new Braunfels and if you guys are new to my channel I live in Austin, Texas. Yesterday there was like a tornado warning. I don't even know. Basically it rained a lot and today is freezing. Well maybe not freezing but to me I get so cold so easily so I thought it would be a good time to finally pull out my fall clothes <laughs> from last year and I put them in this vacuum sealed bag and holy shit guys this thing weighs like so much um and I'm really excited to open it because I feel like I forgot all about these clothes and I'm kind of interested in to see what is even in here um so let's open it together oh my god it's like already expanding <laughs> I bought these on Amazon and these are just like so the smartest thing ever. I'm gonna link them down below in case you guys are interested. I loved this little hoodie sweater thing last fall. I don't even remember where half these clothes are from. Misguided, that's what it said. Ooh, a sweater vest could look super cute for today. I really wanted to wear like booties, but I just feel like comfort is the most important thing. Um, so we're going from like three to nine-ish and I don't want to be cold and I don't want my feet to hurt because I don't know really how much we're going to be walking. I love this one is from Nasty Gal. I loved my sweater vest last season. <laughs> you can't tell. Oh wait, this could be so cute for today. I don't know why, but I feel like this is a vibe. So I'm going to put it on this side. I also forgot I had this huge puffer and that's great because I was literally looking to buy an off-white puffer. I'm also going to New York at the end of this month and I am so excited y'all. Like I haven't been in New York since like middle school or something but I am kind of nervous because I feel like I have a lot of expectations for New York which I feel like then you know creates disappointment sometimes and I'm really trying to work on just not having expectations for many things especially now that I'm an adult. I just feel like so many things are not in my control like the weather or I don't know, there's so many other factors, but I don't know. I'm still excited. I just don't even know where to start with like planning because I think we're going for like a full week. I need to book our stay. I finally booked the flight, so that's all good, but I need to book the stay. And then I also need to like go through like what areas for what day because I definitely don't want to be bopping around town and spending like so much on Ubers and like subways and all that kind of stuff. So we'll see about that. Basically, the moral of the story is that I really wanted to start planning out my New York City outfit and I want to start shopping online if I need to because I'm leaving Austin to go to Georgia like around November 20th and then going straight from Georgia to New York. So I'm deciding whether I want it to be shipped to Georgia or here, but we'll, we'll decide later. It's got really wrinkled, um, so I might throw it in the dryer, but one of my favorite coats from Express. I love this like little camel situation. It's a wrap one, so there's no buttons. Oh my God, everything's like super wrinkled. My handy dandy True Grit. Are these even still like a thing? I remember when they were a huge thing back in Georgia. And it's actually really funny to like talk about what was a big thing where you're from because some of my friends here obviously are not from the south. I have one friend from Philly and then one friend from Arizona and in Austin there's like a lot of water like activities like you can go to the lake, you can go paddleboarding, all that kind of stuff and these two girls like never had water shoes but me and my Georgia friend always had our Chacos and we were trying to sell them on Chacos but they thought they were the most hideous things ever which they kind of are, but they serve a purpose. And I'm like, y'all need to get some dang water shoes. Okay, another white puffer, but this one's a long line one. Okay, this is actually gonna be perfect for New York. It is very interesting to talk to them about like what was trendy in their hometowns because it's so different from like where I grew up. I don't know, just like random things like fightings. Do you guys know what fightings are? It's like the little like necklace 
that is like an athletic necklace. I remember Ryan having this and he wore it every single day, but it was such a big thing. And I feel like no one knew what that was when I brought it up. Um, but this was the last thing in the bag. This is also one of my favorite coats from Red Dress. Okay, so we have this as an option tonight. I could do like a long sleeve shirt. I'm really sad that I didn't get any Skims long sleeve shirts, but they were like all out of stock when I made my purchase. So I only have the short sleeve ones and I feel like a long sleeve one is needed. But maybe I will like bodysuit. I don't know, I feel like this could be really cute. But also I kind of want to be even warmer, like to have a full kind of jacket or like a shacket. But I was just on the phone with my friend Maddie and she was asking me what I was gonna wear and this is what inspired bringing this out. Um, and she said she was gonna wear a shacket, so I don't wanna like, you know, steal her style for today. So we're gonna see what's in my closet and figure this out. Also, I'm really hungry. It's almost about to be noon and I think we're gonna make some avocado toast. I finally went grocery shopping yesterday in my last week of my life vlog. I swear I was gonna do that every single day, but I didn't. But my boyfriend was in town and I don't know, like, especially because he's not here all the time now, we like to eat out, like we're big foodies, especially like with each other and we have our places that we like to go in Austin and we didn't have that many days together. So, you know, we didn't really wanna cook at home cause you know, he was here and he wanted to eat his favorite foods. I feel like I'm blaming him, but <laughs> I definitely was um, loving it at the time. But after I dropped into the airport, I just made a very simple, healthy meal and I was like, yes, she's back. That TikTok sound that's like, she's back. I feel, I feel that. Now I can finally eat at home and just get back into that routine. Um, but anyways, let's stop rambling. Let's find an outfit so I can eat. I know this is not the greatest because I definitely need to change some things up, but this is the first little trial and error. Um, I think there's just too many like collars going on. I feel like if this sweater was like a scoop neck, it would look really cute, but I also just really loving these Uggs and I cannot take them off and I really want to style my outfit around them just so I could be super comfortable. They're like the platform. I think they're like Taz Uggs, T-A-Z-Z. -Z. Um, but I'm going to find like just a basic long sleeve and see what that looks like and possibly change up the jeans. I feel like these pants are a little bit baggy. I feel like all my jeans are baggy because I like baggy jeans. But these days, for some reason, they're just like not giving what they need to give. Just did my makeup and I filmed a TikTok while I was applying it all. Um, but I just got the notification that my Amazon packages um, got here and they were delayed like one day. In my week of my life, I was like, I'll try them on for you guys. And then they got delayed. There is one sweater in this order that I'm really hoping that works out so I can wear it today. All right, this is the sweater. I just FaceTimed Ryan and he said that the first outfit with the like white long sleeve and fuzzy vest is better. I love this top though. It's 2.21 and we have to leave here by 2.40 and I still haven't really eaten like a good meal so I need to do that ASAP. I love how I changed like a million times and I'm just back on the first outfit. <laughs> but this is what we're wearing today. I'm pretty sure this is for Misguided. Bodysuits Abercrombie and then my jeans are Amazon and they have these really cool like split hem things And then I'm just wearing my Uggs like I wanted to and we're going to mean eyed cat downtown I don't think I've ever been there, but that's where the bus is picking us up And I don't know if we're actually going in the bar or what I feel like I'm gonna have to pee when I get there because I've been trying to hydrate especially before I go out and I've been drinking a lot of water, um, but I was thinking I have a big ass Topo Chico and I like tried to stuff it in my purse just in case we needed to go in the bar, but I doubt they're gonna let me bring that in the bar, but we'll see. Since we're drinking today and you know, going on a bus to a different city, I'm just gonna vlog everything on my iPhone. So I kind of wanted to talk through this experience of going to Worst Fest for the first time. So we met at this bar, we hopped on this bus, and we bought tickets for this bus. It was $49, I believe. You could just bring your own alcohol. The drive was longer than expected. I think it took like an hour and a half to get there. But when we got there, there was some walking to do. And once we got to the festival grounds, we realized that the bus ticket didn't come with a Worst Fest ticket. So the entrance fee was actually $20. So we went and got our ticket before 
heading in. First stop was obviously the bathroom. Then we got our drink tickets, which was honestly very annoying because it was just one more line you had to stand in, but they did have white claws. So I was very happy. I'm not a huge beer drinker, um, but as you can see, some people actually dress up for this event, but I just kind of went with the fall look. We went inside this huge like warehouse thing where they had like a live band and this is where all the bars were. And here is the menu of drinks if you guys are interested in seeing that. Every one of my friends got Steiners or whatever they're called. But like I said, I just got a White Claw. Then we headed down to the river. We took some pictures, just like chilled out a little bit, enjoyed the view. And then it was time for food, which is honestly the only reason I really wanted to come to this festival because it just sounded like they had great food. So we got this huge sausage on a stick. Highly recommend. It was so juicy. Um, we also got some turkey legs and I was trying to like I chew the sausage with my teeth. Um, if you guys don't know, I have veneers. It was very tough, but we also got funnel cakes and I was in heaven. If you guys get the toppings like this, like the strawberry or cherry toppings, jail immediate jail you just need to get extra powdered sugar it was honestly such a vibe to walk around during the nighttime, but we had to head back to the bus because it was picking us up at 9 30. i'm pretty sure the buses just kept rolling all day so technically you did have a time that you had to be back but i'm pretty sure you could just take the next bus and this is what we looked like on the way back Happy Sunday. I just made myself some breakfast avocado toast with Mike's Hot Honey. New favorite breakfast fixation for sure. And I'm still doing my little soft scrambled eggs, but today I tried something different. I added that like soft cheese. I think it's called bursin or something like that. Um, and it's the garlic and herb flavor. I'm so excited. I got it at Costco, so it should be really good. I think I'm going to set up shop on the couch and just like watch some YouTube while I eat my breakfast. Um, but this morning I got up really early. It is daylight savings day, the most dreaded day of the year for me at least, because I just hate when the sun sets at 5 p.m. Like it just sucks. But I do want to take advantage of like being able to wake up earlier, like just having my body clock wake me up earlier because this morning I think I got up at like seven. I was like, heck yeah. Like I got so much done. I edited a full vlog. It was the first time I ever timed myself. It took about two hours and 18 minutes to get the whole vlog edited and then the thumbnail done. So that was very interesting. Everyone always asks me how long does it take to me to edit a video and I never know. Honestly, every video is different though. I feel like for my week in my life videos, I know exactly like what goes where and you know, all that kind of stuff. So it's a little bit easier just of the flow of it all. Um, but for sit down videos, you know, sometimes I want to be more creative with the like title cards and everything like that. But dealing with after effects and motion graphics and stuff takes so much longer. But like I said, for my week in my life vlogs, I have already made like overlays that I can just pop right on. So it's a little bit faster. So I'm glad I got that done. I posted it. So definitely go and check that video out if you haven't already. I'm pretty sure the Sephora sale ends tomorrow. So I went ahead and made my order. I did it super last minute this year, but there were some things I just wanted to restock. And then of course I get sucked into buying stuff that I've seen on TikTok. So I want to run down my list, even though I'll probably do like a little unboxing haul in my next week in my life, but we'll start off with foundations that I got. So I really needed a um, refill of the Makeup Forever HD stick and I wanted it in a lighter color. So I got that. I also have heard so many good things about the House Labs um, foundation from Lady Gaga's line. And so I decided to try that out. And then I got a refill on my Anastasia brow pen in the color medium brown. There's this hair towel that I've been 
having my eye on for so long and I know there are probably like cheaper dupes but I just really wanted to try something out from this new brand that I've heard of called crown affair so I finally got my hair towel and then this one girl I follow on TikTok. I can't remember it's getting like so randomly bright I guess I'm not really complaining though but it's like going in and out <laughs> um but she always talks about the hourglass ambient lighting like palette and that definitely was a splurge but it comes with like six different colors i cannot with this lighting right now and i got the one that's like the tiger one so it's like a little bit darker i'm literally about to give up <laughs> um then i got the tower 28 lip gloss in the color almond i got a few makeup brushes two beauty blenders got to stock up on those while i can and then the charlotte tilbury lip sheet lip liner in iconic nude my friend Kiara, when I was at home, she was like, that's like my favorite lip liner. And I love Charlotte Tilbury lip liners. So I want to try that color out um, and I'll report back hopefully this week because I did pay for expedited shipping. It said it was going to ship like literally in a week and a half. And I was like, I can't wait that long. So <laughs> I paid the extra. It is currently 2 p.m. and sunsets at like 5.30 now. I put on makeup because I wanted to film content today, but I just, I don't know. I'm just like chilling on the couch. I'm just getting distracted. I think something that will help kickstart me into actually filming is some kind of caffeine. So should we do a matcha or a chai today? I'm trying to think. I just got oat milk. I feel like I'm craving a matcha. So let's make one. You guys know what time it is taste test time not bad not bad i think i could have done a little bit more matcha but i did realize that the first couple of times i made matcha it like tasted kind of bad because i used too much powder so it's kind of like hard to get the sweet spot also, the counter behind me looks so cluttered. It is making me a little bit anxious. I don't think I told you guys this yet, but I bought Stick On Backsplash from Amazon um, because I'm just like really wanting some white backsplash. I love my apartment, but I just wish like the kitchen was like all white, especially these countertops. I hate that they're like gray and speckled. I feel like, like why? <laughs> like why couldn't you just give us like, even just white and speckled. I'm not asking for like a nice marble or anything, but just like white. We're working with what we got. Um, so like I said, I bought this stick on backsplash and it gets here today. I think I'm gonna put it on later this week though. Um, cause I feel like it might take a lot of time and I wanna like make sure I am not rushed through the process. So I'm super pumped for that. And then I've also been wanting to really just like declutter this whole counter space. Cause I feel like since I have that corner back there, I feel like I stick a lot of random shit back there and just try to hide it. Um, but honestly, it's gotten a little crazy and I just feel like I use that side as my little catch-all and it just needs to not be like this because this is, again, making me very anxious. Hello. You got something to say? I think she's going to tell me she's hungry a little too early because of daylight savings. <laughs> that's gonna be fun she's very persistent about getting food so um but i was just filming a tiktok on these new like accessories that i got and i'm obsessed with pop sockets i found that they actually have magsafe pop socket accessories now and obviously you have to have like a magsafe case mine is from burga i freaking love this case so much like a shiny back too so it like sticks on really well for the magsafe um but this one is just like a magsafe pop socket and then this one is a freaking portable charger magsafe pop socket these might be my favorite amazon buys this past month 
um, because like I honestly use well this every single day and I like to always just have a portable charger in my purse the ones I had they worked really really well and like charged a lot because they were bigger so I don't know if this does like you know two charges or just one charge but I like that it's more sleek because I was able to put it in my purse yesterday and my purse was definitely on the smaller side and I just love that it has a pop socket too. I will link these down below in case you guys are pop socket lovers like me. The first of many 5 p.m. sunsets. I'm so sad guys. It's 6.46 and it is time to make some dinner and I was kind of craving butter chicken like a day ago. But now I'm not really craving it, but I still want to make it because I already defrosted the chicken. So we're just going to roll with it. I seasoned the chicken with paprika, garlic, um, powder, salt, pepper, cumin. And I think I'm just going to cook the chicken and then remove like half of it so that I can put the other half with this butter chicken sauce. Because I don't think there's like enough sauce for all this chicken. And I'd rather it be more saucy than more chickeny. And obviously, I'm not going to be able to eat all that chicken tonight. So maybe tomorrow I can make the rest of the chicken into something else. I'm hoping. For some reason, Sundays are a really good time for me to post on TikTok. Like, I feel like my TikToks do really, really well on Sundays, no matter like really what I post. But that's also kind of annoying because, like, then on Sunday nights, I'm kind of just like stressed out trying to like post whatever I can. I'm just really hoping TikTok comes out with the feature to like schedule TikToks because I know it's supposed to be like super in the moment or like whatever, not like super curated, I guess. But my TikToks also do really well at night, aka like non-working hours. So every time, you know, I do bachelorette night, with the girls they come over to watch bachelor in paradise and i'm over here trying to like you know post this tiktok and making sure it goes live and everything like that and it's just kind of annoying you know so really hoping that becomes a thing soon i think while this chicken cooks i'm going to get in my jammies and take off my makeup